Welcome to the DVX product installation overview video of Signal Interconnect. The purpose of the Signal Interconnect video is to explain the process of connecting the Signal Interconnect of the video displays and then watch a technician connecting a bottom row together. First, route the fiber cable through the signal entrance, then terminate. Connect, connect the fiber cable to the first fiber patch panel. Refer to the contract specific Signal Interconnect drawing and system riser diagram. Next, route the coiled power cables from section to section, connecting to the power harness in the next section. Refer to the contract-specific system riser diagram. After that, route the coiled fiber cables to the next section, connecting at the first fiber patch panel. Refer to drawing B1122479 in the DD2513392 DVX1100, 1500, 1800 series display manual for fiber entrance and fiber interconnect details. Refer to the contract-specific signal interconnect drawing and system riser diagram for specific routing information. Next, route the SATA cables from section to section and connect the module input. Finally, route the power cables through conduit to the termination panels inside the display at the section specified on the contract-specific system riser diagram. Refer to drawing B1123982 in the DD2513392 DVX1100, 1500, 1800 series display manual for power termination information. Hello, my name is Jim Welter. Today we'll be going over the signal and power interconnects on DVX sections. For this purpose, we'll be doing this, this, the demonstration in the factory, so the displays are on stands due to safety reasons. We will show the pass-through holes in the cabinets as we go through the demonstration. Okay, in this section we will cover the uh, cables we'll be using for the setup for the power signal and the fiber. First off, this is the main power whip for the sections. This would be terminated into a junction box on the structure from the main feeder for the power. That will enter the cabinet, the top box, silver box up there is our breakers for these two sections. Power will start at that section, go over to 514 top, it will come down to 514B and then back across into 513B and terminate at this location. Signal will come from 513B over to 514B and likewise from 513T to 514T. The signal will then continue on to the next section. Signal terminations are determined by their loop by PLR sections. Okay, so now we will go over the connections between the two cabinets. We'll cover power, signal, and in some locations fiber optic. So each cabinet will have two power jumpers that will go across. In the cabinet we have access holes where the cable would go through. It would then go on the other side the cabinets, between the cabinets, over to the side. Then in cabinet 41B, 514B, we'll have the other end. These are then just plugged together. When connecting, make sure mate locks clip solid and all wires are in tight. The bottom feeder is the same way. There's another access hole on the bottom. Push the cable through. It would come through between the cabinets. And on the other side, we have the same type of system. Connect, make sure everything clicks, and all wires are tight. Now for the signal, for the signal flow in the cabinets, we'll have one SATA cable that'll go between. So the SATA cable, would go through the same hole as the power did, comes between the cabinets, and when it comes out of the cabinet, 
it'll plug into our bottom module and it'll be an open port. Make sure the SATA cable is tight, let both latches are in place. Now, some cabinets will have a fiber optic line running through them for the signal going between PLRs. In those cabinets, we would have our fiber end be coiled in the end of our cabinet. When we're ready to hook up, take the fiber, they'll go through the same opening as the power and our SATA cable did. It'll come across between the cabinets. Normally loop behind any power, and then in the other cabinet there'll be a female block. We plug our fiber into the female block. Once again, pull some extra fiber between the cabinets so we can have a loop. So when doing the power and signal interconnects between the top half, will be it's the same as the bottom. We'll have our two power jumpers that'll go between the cabinets, and we'll have our one signal. In the top cabinets, we won't have a fiber optic jumper cable. So, likewise here, and this is a little better, so we take our power, we go through our opening here, come over into our other opening, so we've got to work the cable a little bit, and then make our connection, make sure our connections are tight, no wires have popped out of the back of the main lock. We'll do our next connection. Same way, it'd go between the cabinets through the two openings, through the two holes. And this one's a little short, so we can't quite <laughs> do it here. But normally this would tie together just like in the bottom and the top, would be latched together. And then finally would be our signal. Bring that through the opening, comes on the other side, and it'll plug into the same location as on the bottom cabinet on that module. We connect it in, make sure our tags and latches are all tight, and leave a little extra loop on our inside. Now in some cabinets, in this particular case, this set will come out to the field already bolted together installed. So the power harness, which goes from top to bottom, would already be in place and connected. In some locations, the cabinets will come split. So upon uh, assembly out in the field, these two harnesses would be sitting in the top cabinet. These bring the power down to the bottom two cabinets. So we would take these two harnesses and we would feed them down through our bottom, through a hole in our uh, cabinet there. Let me see where I'm at. And they will drop down to our bottom section. <clears throat> One thing is try to keep them, I always try to keep them behind any other cables when they're coming down. So when bringing the cables down, I usually like to bring them down behind the other harnesses so they're kind of out of the way. And then pull it all the way through. And then the top, there are certain, they're basically to a length so we can't get them too long or too short. Take our cable, plug it in, make sure our latches are both clamped tight and all the wires are in all the way. Same with the bottom one, it'll come down. And then we will connect it into the bottom plug, make sure both ear tags are tight, and all wires are in good. And that is the completion of power and signal interconnect between two cabinets of the DVX system.